All right, scholars, we are back with more amazing science, and we are still designing our investigation, testing the effects of gravity on an object. Yes, we are testing the effects of gravity on an object. Let's recap and review. What do we have so far? So far, we have a wondering. We have something that we're going off of. We're wondering, how does the force of gravity affect the motion of an object? We have successfully created a testable question, a testable question, something that we can test via an investigation. How does blank affect blank? We're going to look at how does the height of a ramp affect the distance that a car will roll. The last thing that we did is we created a hypothesis. A hypothesis is our prediction. What do we think is going to happen? And I asked you to fill in the blank. I think the higher the ramp, the blank, the car will roll. You could say the farther the distance the car will roll. You can say the shorter the distance the car will roll. Or you can say that you don't think it's going to affect anything at all. All predictions are accepted and that's what makes science awesome. It's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. It's about being willing to take chances so we can learn and discover and figure things out. All right, what's next on the list? The next thing that we're going to do is we have to figure out what are the materials that we're going to need to do this? Like what materials are we going to need? So we're going to make a part right here and we're going to call it materials. Now, if I'm thinking through this, I know for a fact that I can only change one thing. So I'm going to change the sticky notes. So I know I'm going to need three sticky notes. First, I'm going to put my ramp on one sticky note, and that's going to be my first height. Then I'm going to put my ramp on my second sticky note. That's going to be my second height. And then we're going to do it with our ramp on our third sticky note. That's going to be our third height. So I know that I'm going to need three sticky note packs of sticky notes. Now, you don't have to use sticky notes. Like I said before, you can use books. You can use, you can use whatever you like, you like. You can use whatever you like. I'm gonna use me some sticky notes. You might use books. It's up to you to choose. Put you on the hook. Let's go, scholars, come on. Materials, what are we gonna use? Three packs of sticky notes. I know that I need one card. Now remember, I can't use a ball one time and a card one time. I have to keep everything else the same. Matter of fact, you see this ball? It's gone. We're not using it anymore. What can we use? This one bumblebee truck. That's it. So I have one truck. I'll call it a truck since it is a truck instead of a car. What else am I going to need? You know what? How am I going to measure these things? Like what tools do we use to, to measure? Now I could use a ruler, but I see this table is kind of long, so I don't know if that is the most effective tool to use. So what I got is instead I got a yardstick. So we're going to use a start a yardstick. But you don't have to use that. You could use a measuring tape. It's whatever you want, but you need to have a mechanism that measures distance. And you know what? We're actually going to use the meter stick because we want to make sure that we use it. I mean, the measuring tape. I want to make sure that I can use centimeters because we're going to stay in our scientific measurements. We're going to stay with our metric systems, okay? So we're going to do measuring tape. All right, now I have three things. I have my sticky notes, check. I have my truck, check. I have my measuring tool, check. Oh, I need something for a ramp. What am I going to use for a ramp? This is so easy. You could literally use anything. It doesn't matter. You could use a composition notebook. You could use anything that is hard enough and it's firm enough to allow it to roll. We're just going to use another whiteboard. That's it. Yes, we're just going to use another whiteboard. So we're just going to put down our fourth material is a board. And then last but certainly not least, you need your writing material. So that might be a journal. In this case, I'm using a whiteboard. Whatever you're going to use to record your information. Scientists always have to record your information. It's a non-negotiable. We have to write. Writing and science. Writing and science are best friends. Math and science are best. We're all best friends. All the subjects are best friends. You just I'm literally using words here. That's literacy, scientists. That is literacy. You accept it, accept it, get over it. It's just the way the world works. So we have a whiteboard. Okay, now after we get our materials, the next thing we have to figure out is. Like what steps are we gonna to take to do this? Like what, there has to be a process that is taken to ensure accuracy. Scientists have to be accurate. 
And in order to be accurate, we're going to do our trials multiple times, and we'll talk about that when we get to the data and implementation phase, but we have to be accurate. And in order to stay accurate, that means we have to do the same steps over and over and over and over and over again. Does that make sense? Does it? Nod your heads if it makes sense like this. Now kind of do it to the side, then do it over here to the side. Yes, absolutely. It makes sense. We have to do that. We call those procedures. And procedures are the step-by-step -step procedures, are the step-by-step -step things that we do in an investigation. For this investigation, the first thing that we're going to need to do, like we've already done, we gathered all the materials. So my number one I'm going to put is gather materials. After we have the materials, we need to figure out how are we going to do this. Well, the next thing I feel like we need to do is it's, it's really hard to roll a car down a ramp that has not been built. We need to build a ramp, right? So I'm going to build a ramp, a ramp, our step three is going to be what I want to do after I've got my materials after I've built my ramp then we need to test it we have to do it so we're going to test the truck by rolling it down the ramp down the ramp okay so let's take a look at this I've got my procedures we are gathering materials. We are building a ramp. We are gonna test the car by rolling it down the ramp. Now, we're trying to figure out the distance. So that means that after I roll it, now what do I have to do? Of course, I have to measure the distance. We're gonna measure the distance. We're gonna record our results as our next step. Record our results. And then last, but certainly not least, we have to do each height three times. That's where we get our accuracy. Scientists do things over and over and over again because we want to make sure that there's no inconsistencies in our results. So the last thing is we are going to do each trial three times. That's it. We're ready, we are finally ready to do it. I know this is the hard part because y'all just wanna grab stuff and build it and start rolling cars, but you can't. That's not how science works. You have to set up for the investigation and now we're set up and now we're ready to go. So the next video, the next time we get on here, as long as you have your information, it's time to rock and roll. Let's go scholars! Designing an investigation that attacks that tests the effects of gravity on an object. It's time. Let's get it. Let's go. We'll see you guys soon.